Well, uh, the state of uh, stocks exchange, this is not the state uh, now of uh, uh, stocks exchange, but uh, it's uh, important for me because uh, it, uh, it is a picture of uh, the market in Anversa in the uh, 16th centuries. And uh, it was a place where the merchant uh, used to meet uh, one another and they uh, buy, sell, uh, um, goods, uh, commodities, uh, by exchanging a piece of paper. So for me, it's important to uh, let you to see this chart because uh, uh, it means that uh, in that period there was a, a, a strict link between the exchange, the market exchange, and the reality. Now I think that uh, if uh, you ask to a man of street, uh, which could be uh, pictures of uh, a stock exchange. I think that uh, people could answer this is the right chart. According to me, the right uh, representation is this one. Okay, because uh, uh, there had been a, a great evolution on uh, the stock exchanges uh, that uh, was driven by uh, different uh, uh, causes. But first of all is uh, the growth of the net, the growth of internet. Um, in uh, the United States, uh, um, a lot of alternative uh, electronic uh, exchange, alternative uh, electronic platform were built uh, in uh, the 19, and uh, they started to, uh, for example, let traders uh, trade uh, with lower fee for example, and uh, the development, uh, the growth of the net helped this phenomenon. Another uh, important uh, cause is uh, the growth of the power computing, because uh, with the power computing, uh, you are able uh, to trade faster, uh, to uh, detect uh, the big data, etc. Then another uh, uh, motivation is uh, the development of uh, statistical and mathematical models that uh, manage uh, the uh, traders. Um, it is quite interesting to understand uh, uh, why uh, the uh, mathematical models uh, grow so fastly in the recent past. It is linked with uh, uh, what uh, in finance is called uh, behavioral finance. You know, in the past, uh, the industry of finance used to say that uh, uh, the man is uh, homo economicus, means that uh, the man is able to maximize wealth. This is not true. Uh, you remember that uh, in 2002, uh, Daniel Kahneman, a psychologist, won the uh, Nobel Prize in Economic Science because in the 17th, he demonstrated with his uh, uh, experiment that uh, the man, for example, uh, is not able to maximize his wealth. I uh, experienced as well this situation. For example, when a trader uh, is losing money, uh, he often holds the stocks too much. And uh, this is not because uh, he has a strategy, but uh, it is only because uh, he wants to postpone the pain. Um, it is something linked to our ancestral mind. And so, uh, new traders, what they think? They think that if you have, and we, we, I will explain better later, if you have an automatic trader, well, you have no stress, you, you don't mistake, okay? And then, according to me, another uh, important uh, motivation is uh, the new set of rules. Because uh, the growth of the uh, electronic stocks exchange of uh, this new habitat uh, uh, has been supported uh, by a very large set of rules. For example, I can remember here in uh, Europe uh, the uh, directive of uh, MIFID, MIFID, 
uh, that was uh, uh, published in 2004 and uh, was uh, um, accepted in Italy in 2007. Why is important this uh, directive? Because, uh, for example, he introduced the best execution. So, before the uh, introduce of the um, best execution, uh, the stock exchange could uh, explain in this way: we have uh, a traditional stock exchange, we have an investors. Investors gives the order to the broker. The broker. Uh, send the order of buyer or selling uh, to the traditional stock exchange. And then uh, there is the feedback to the broker, but it is uh, a, a structure uh, point to multi point. On the contrary, with uh, the best execution rule, and uh, which I will explain what is it, uh, the um, structure is the uh, following. You have, uh, as I told you before, the traditional stock exchange, but you have also alternative stock exchange because the growth, because the rules let uh, traders to uh, trade on uh, alternative stock exchange that are different from a traditional stock exchange. The traditional stock exchange is Wall Street, is uh, NISE. Uh, the alternative stock exchange are electronic platform. Uh, in, in the United States, they are called ECN, Electronic Communication Network. The rules is that uh, um, the broker have to ensure uh, that uh, the execution given to the uh, trader is the best among all the platform. You understand that uh, in uh, a stock exchange where you have, uh, uh, for example, uh, the need to be the first uh, uh, to uh, give the orders, uh, this uh, um, check of uh, where is the best execution have to be done in real time. Human mind is not able to do this. So, once again, we have the necessary to have algorithms, software that decide where is the best place to, for, for trading. The best execution is not only the best price. The best execution is, all, is also the place where, for example, the fee are lower, or, uh, for example, where the liquidity of the stocks is uh, stronger. So you have uh, uh, to uh, analyze all these uh, different uh, situations and decide where uh, to uh, send the order. Once again, software, once again, uh, algorithmics. And now, the algo trader. Um, when I, I write uh, about algo trading, uh, my colleagues and uh, uh, people used to, uh, always used to, to say, oh, the flash boys, the high frequency trading, oh, well, this is important to understand. The automatic trading is a larger phenomenon than the high frequency trading. The high frequency trading is only a little part of the automatic trading that works very at, at, at high speed. But uh, they are automatic, but they are not, they don't represent all the phenomena because you can create an automatic trading that, for example, give a signal one a month, one a year. The import, this is really important because uh, uh, it's smart to say, oh, flash boys, uh, high speed, etc. But the phenomenon is deeper in the stock exchanges. And so the question is, but uh, what is uh, in automatic trading, how uh, uh, does it work? Well, in general, the automatic trading uh, works in, with uh, a logical structure that is uh, the following. If something happens, then sell or buy, okay? And uh, you could ask me, but uh, this something happen, 
how can you uh, decide what is if something happen or, or uh, when to uh, sell or buy the stocks? Well, um, there are very, very, very different strategies. I can give you an example. There is uh, a strategy that uh, is uh, based on uh, the technical analysis. The technical analysis uh, is uh, the evaluation of the stocks, uh, not uh, looking at the fundamental of uh, stocks. Uh, that means uh, you look, for example, at uh, the um, uh, earnings uh, of the company, uh, you uh, look at uh, uh, how the company is managed, uh, you look at uh, the uh, um, revenues, etc., etc., and uh, you will find uh, through, uh, you, you are you're able uh, to uh, understand which could be a, a right price for a stock uh, on this data. The, tech, the uh, technical analysis uh, analyzes from a statistical point of view the level of the prices. Uh, for example, you can find a level uh, at uh, which uh, the uh, stock historically uh, had uh, never fallen down or uh, breaking through. So you have, for example, what is called a resistance level or a supportive level. And so, if you analyze the trend of 10 years of uh, uh, stocks and you find that from a statistical point of view, the uh, 10 euro for uh, a stock is a, um, for example, a support level, if, remember the logical structure, if the stocks go down under 10 euro, then sell, because this was a support level, and historically, the title, the stocks, had difficulty to going down. But if uh, he break this level, and uh, the stocks go down, this means that uh, the stocks will go on going down. And so, you create a software in which you say to the machine, well, when this happens, um, sell the stocks. How big is, it, is this phenomenon? This is a chart in which you can uh, see uh, the growth of the adoption of algorithmic trading by region. Look at, in 2004, in the United States, it was 25% of the trade volume. Now, it's more or less 65%. In Europe, on the contrary, the percentage is lower, because now, in 2014, we are at 42%. Look at the Latin American emerging market. The phenomenon started after 2009, and then we are uh, at the level, more or less, of 25%. This is not uh, a phenomenon that uh, involved uh, only stocks. Because, uh, for example, if you look at the asset in which this adoption of algorithmic trading uh, is going, look at the chart. Equities means the stocks. Uh, it's obviously are uh, at uh, the first rank. Then we have a future. For FX means forex, currency, the market of a currency. Option, fixed income. This is incredible. This is incredible. Because fixed income means government bond. In the United States, the most liquid benchmark, the T-bond, with a duration of 10 years, is uh, uh, traded by uh, algorithmic trading by 60%. So the phenomena is not only the high speed. The phenomena is that the robot is growing in the trading. 
The robot, for the reason that I explained to you, is uh, substituting, I don't know now, but uh, the human being is not so important now in these toxic exchanges. When uh, you look at this chart, uh, you can say, well, what is it? This is uh, a, a flash, a, a, a screenshot of uh, a, a website pages of uh, a, an alternative uh, stocks exchanges that is called BATS CHAIX, because I want uh, uh, to let you see this chart, because it's very important. Look at, at uh, the first uh, uh, column on the left. There are uh, uh, some uh, uh, words, LSA group, uh, Euronext, but the first one is BAST, BAST Chikes Europe. This means that now in Europe the first market is not a traditional exchange any longer. It is BAST Chikes Europe, that is an alternative market. Once again, the world is changing. Once again, the alternative stocks exchange now is the traditional stocks exchange. But the rules are different. So it's difficult to say, well, it, it's only a development of technology, and so we have no problem. It is not so easy to understand because uh, in the BATS, uh, Chex Europe, you have not uh, the same rule as uh, in uh, London Stock Exchange. And so it's difficult to understand if for the traders is better or no. Now, this chart that is not uh, a picture of uh, an ab abstract uh, artist, but uh, is something that uh, let you to understand what could be the high frequency trading at work. The high frequency uh, trading at work, uh, this is uh, a, a, the a situation that happened in uh, a very short time, uh, two or uh, five seconds. And uh, the asset that is traded here is an ATF. An ETF means, uh, uh, who knows uh, what an ETF is? Okay, I explain it. An ETF is uh, a, f f a fund that is traded like a stock, okay? It is called a passive trading. It means that uh, you create uh, a, a fund in which you put, for example, uh, 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 a percentage of stocks of, uh, uh, for example, uh, Fusimib, then uh, of uh, Eurostox, etc., etc., and then it, this fund is quoted, okay, in the stocks exchanges. So it's a fund that is quoted and it uh, uh, flows as a, a stocks. This is an ETF on the Russell 2000, that is uh, an index in Wall Street. Uh, of uh, uh, mid-cap company that have a medium capitalization. The green line is uh, the best execution for uh, the buy. It's some two seconds. Remember that the time from this uh, T0, uh, time zero and time one are more or less two seconds. In this period, the best execution of the uh, buy side is normal because in two seconds, one, two, it's difficult to change uh, if you are a human being uh, your strategy. On the contrary, on the sell side, you have <laughs> these uh, these uh, strange uh, uh, pictures. These pictures represent the order that in two seconds are put on this asset by an high frequency trader. Look at the first uh, part on, uh, on the left, the high frequency 
put a lot of uh, um, order on this stock. Then, uh, at uh, less at the time of less uh, one, um, less than one second, uh, he cancelled the order instantaneously. Okay. In the book, all the orders of selling disappeared, and from the other side, a normal investor uh, that is looking at the book say, "Oh, what what happens?" I was sure that there was something that wanted to sell. It was an high frequency that uh, let the other side to think that uh, somebody uh, wanted to sell. Then he started again. He put again thousand, thousand, and thousand of uh, uh, orders. And the price of the, um, of the selling book grow up again. Once again, the normal human uh, kind being from uh, the uh, buy side looked at this uh, situation and thinks again, well, there is, some, there is somebody who wants to uh, sell. In an instant, it disappears again. And, it, 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 and this situation uh, goes on. First of all, this is not an exception. Because uh, um, many representatives of the industry used to say that after the famous flash crash in 2010 uh, on Dow Jones, uh, the SEC, uh, the uh, regulator, uh, managed the problem and solved it. And, uh, uh, they uh, used to say that uh, so important flash crash uh, never happened. It is not so. Because, uh, for example, the Normale di Pisa uh, made a very interesting paper in which it demonstrated that, uh, yes, a, a great flash crash disappeared, but we have thousands and thousands and thousands of micro crash flash in uh, single stocks that uh, uh, are a situation not described by newspaper because they are not so interesting, but they exist. And so it's important to understand that uh, uh, this uh, happens. Okay. My conclusion in this very uh, uh, short explanation of the uh, algorithmic trading is, uh, is the following. First of all, uh, you have to remember that uh, um, the structure of the uh, stock exchange has changed. And uh, the automatic trading is uh, becoming larger and larger. And the question is, which is uh, the purpose, the target for an existing stock exchange? According to me, a stock exchange is uh, the way that uh, a company has uh, to uh, find uh, money, an, an alternative to the uh, credit, uh, traditional credit from banks, uh, or uh, issuing bonds, etc. Because uh, when you uh, make a, a, when you enter on a stock exchange as a company, you uh, collect money. Uh, you are able to uh, receive money from investors, and this money, if you are not uh, stupid, you will put in uh, your company, and then the company. Uh, will be able to grow. But uh, if uh, this phenomenon of the automatic trading is going larger, I think that uh, this uh, target of the stock exchange can disappear. Because uh, all these uh, strategy, I repeat, there are many, 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 many different strategies. I give you a very little, little 
uh, example are always connected with uh, the uh, idea that a stock is not a part of a company. The stock doesn't represent a company. Remember, Anvensa, the piece of paper represents goods. Now, this strategy thinks that the stock is a number. A number that you have to manage as a number with your computer. If you find a correlation, for example, between two stocks, this correlation could be negative correlation, positive correlation, neutral correlation. But you can decide that the, if the correlation doesn't work well for uh, a little time, you can uh, decide your strategy. But uh, you don't think about uh, the value of the stock linked to the fundamental and to the reality. You only think about the correlation or about the speed that you are able uh, to use in putting the order in the stock exchanges. And so, if uh, this is a new reality, for a company, is a good way of uh, uh, find money, an alternative money, or no? Because I uh, always write about a company, I describe company, quoted company, and manager always said to me, well, I have made a lot of profit. Uh, I give dividend, but the stocks go down. And uh, they, they, they ask me, but why is going down? Thanks to the banks, I don't want to, uh, to how to say, to, uh, to, to give, uh, uh, to say that banks are good uh, or not. And I'm not interested in these, but it's a very interesting example. Remember, here in Italy, when there was the crisis of a spread, okay, in 2011, the spread between the yield of uh, the uh, bond, the uh, bond, government bond of Germany, and the Italian bond government enlarged. Okay? In this situation, the investors sold both the uh, BTP, the Italian government bond, and then the banks. But they sold the banks eh, not because uh, uh, only because the banks were managed not so well, but uh, because they found a, co a, a negative correlation between the growth of the spread and the trend of the banks. So the banks were sold not because, for example, that uh, uh, banks was managed worse than uh, in other banks, but only because uh, the quant uh, analyst found this correlation once again, which is the uh, target, is, uh, which is the reason why we have uh, uh, to ask a company to enter a stock exchange if uh, the uh, struct logical structure of this trading is only that you have a number uh, and you have to find correlation and you have to find uh, uh, level, etc., etc., etc. According to me, it's difficult to convince a company. In fact, not only a company, but also investors, traditional investors, to put their money in these uh, stock exchanges. As in fact, uh, many uh, reports demonstrate that, for example, uh, the traditional funds in the United States uh, now uh, put le man less money than in the past in the stock exchange because they are afraid, because they analyze the fundamental of the company and uh, they, for example, find that uh, the level, the, 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 the fair price of the stock is, for example, $10. But because of, not only uh, because of, uh, not only of the um, automatic uh, trading, but uh, 
they think, uh, I think that there are uh, a great role in this, uh, they found that the stocks, for example, uh, trade at six, at five dollars. This gap is something that they don't accept because according to them, according to the fundamental, the stocks uh, should be at a higher level. And so once again, you lose the, the so-called long-term investors that are that kind of investor that usually uh, stabilize the uh, stocks and changes. Thank you.